Hello boys and girls, I'm Miss Arlene from Arts Clayton Gallery. And today I'm gonna to be reading one of my most favorite books, The Library Dragon by Carmen Didi. And the illustrator is Michael White, one of our favorite also here at Arts Clayton. The Library Dragon. Sunrise Elementary School had a big problem. The new librarian, Miss Lottie Scales, was a real dragon. Miss Lottie Scales was hired to guard the library, and she took her job seriously. Hundreds of new, clean books replaced the old smudge ones. These shining gems nearly lined the shelves of her library, Lear, in perfect order. Numbers 398.2s in the 500s and absolutely no fiction among the biographies. It's a lot of scales. She kept a fiery eye out to make sure no one removed any books from the shelves. Her motto was, a place for everything and that's where it stays. The very thought of sticky little fingers touching, clutching, pawing, clawing, smearing and tearing her precious books just made her hot under the collar. Miss Scales thought the way some books spread an unfounded fear of dragons was positively inflammatory. Books that depict cruelty to dragons should never have been published in the first place. She put a fire, put, she got so fired up about this, she didn't just discard the books she didn't like, she incinerated them. The kids watched in awe. Well, that settles it, whispered Albert Hoops. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And that Miss Scales is a real dragon, all right. Not surprisingly, the kids at Sunrise Elementary School began to dread library day. It wasn't long before the teachers stopped sending the children to the library. They kept coming back singed. A little smoky. First, the principal tried to reason with Miss Scales, but the, his plan backfired. Instead of cooling her down, he just fanned the flames. And finally, don't forget who does the hiring, Miss Scales, sputtered the principal. Oh, really? And who does the firing? Asked Miss Scales with a glare and a flare that caught his tie on fire. Now cut that out, said the principal as he waved the smoke out of his face. No smoking in the library, Miss Lottie Scales, he said drearily. The principal fumed. The teachers were incensed. Worst of all, the children had missed all of their reading and story time for weeks. Their grades were going up in smoke. So the, teacher formed, the teachers formed a delegation and after a trip to the cafeteria to fortify themselves, they paid a visit to Miss Scales. Miss Lottie Scales smoldered as she listened to sweet Miss Lemon, the kindergarten teacher, and most importantly, Miss Scales dear, the children missed their story time. Story time, story time, blew Miss Lottie Scales. Why, if I let the children touch these books with their gooey fingers and snotty noses and the, that this library wouldn't last a week. And she stared so fiercely at the teachers that they threw down their weapons and clung out of the library, all except for sweet Miss Lemon. You know, Miss Scales, we all love the books as much as you do. But the library does belong to the children. Good night, Miss Lemon. You slay me, cried Miss Scales. Why, the idea of story time is simply medieval.
And as usual, the dragon had the last word for Miss Lemon. That Miss Lemon is a real spitfire, chuckled Miss Scales. But she had spewed so much smoke and fire at sweet Miss Lemon that she had to lie down for a nap. She was really dragon. In fact, she was burned out. Being a library dragon can be such a lonely job, she mumbled sadly to herself as she heaved in a mighty sigh and closed her big old scaly eyes. It was at that very moment that Molly Brickermeyer accidentally wandered into the library. It's Molly in a little Brickermeyer dress. Molly was on a quest. She had lost her glasses and couldn't see a thing without them unless it was right under her nose. She stumbled into a bookshelf and a book fell into her lap. She never saw the sign that read, do not touch the books for display only. It was over her head. She had held this one right under her nose and began to read out loud. First, a class of second graders in line for the water fountain heard her and tiptoed in to listen. Then the fourth graders outside playing on the playground heard a story being read and crowded around the window. Speak up, someone said. Molly Brooker Meyer spoke up. Word of story time in the library spread like wildfire in, at Sunrise Elementary School. Everyone was listening even the library dragon, and her ears were burning. Slowly, Miss Lotta Scales rose up from behind a bookshelf and looked at the boys and girls huddled around Molly. she never seen anything quite like it. The children like, looked like they really belonged there. I love you, sniffed Molly. Molly read on as all the children listened. Give me that book, Molly Bricker Meyer roared Miss Scales. Molly held the book cheerfully toward the scaly blur. Miss Lotta Scales tucked the book and eyed it suspiciously. Mm. Then she checked the spine of the book. Each page for stains and smudges. She checked the spine and she checked all the pages. Finally, Miss Scales looked around at all the children and cleared the smoke from her throat. <clears throat> now, where were we? Why, yes, I love you, Snuff. At first, the children were too nervous to listen, but when Molly Brickermeyer climbed up, onto Mrs. Lotta Scales' lap and didn't get scorched. Mmm, they relaxed. You're warm, whispered Molly. Don't interpret that, Miss Lotta, Miss Scales crackled. Everyone was listening so intently that they almost missed it. As she read, Miss Lotta Scales, Scales began to fall on the linoleum floor with a clickety, clackety, clickety, clack. Clickety, clack until they were all left. That was all left was Miss Lotta Scales. Librarian, storyteller, sitting on a mountain of yellow, green, and purple scales with Molly Brooker Meyer, Dragon Slayer Extraordinaire on her lap. The rest of the children warmed up to Miss Lottie right away. The chances, changes in Miss Lottie's new kid friendly library was hard to miss. Not surprisingly, the kids at Sunrise Elementary School began to love their library day. Miss Lottie's transformation, however, was not complete. She put up a sign in the library that said, treat a book like you treat a friend. 
you don't wipe your nose on your friends, do you? Remember to check her books back into the book hospital. Return books when due so others can enjoy them. This library is not a bookstore. If you need help, ask. That's why I get paid the big bucks. Quiet, please. Whisper in the library. Yell on the playground. Happy reading, pumpkins. But then every librarian needs to be a little bit of a dragon or else who would guard the books?